ओके गाइस वी आर बैक अगेन एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द बायो इनफॉर्मेटिक्स प्रैक्टिकल एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड ओआरएफ ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रेच ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड सीक्वेंस मेनी अ टाइम्स वी रिक्वायर ओआरएफ एंड वी नो ओआरएफ मींस ओपन रीडिंग फ्रेम दैट मींस व्हाटएवर न्यूक्लियोटाइड स्ट्रेच ऑफ सीक्वेंस यू गॉट ऑब्वियसली इट शुड हैव अ स्टार्ट कोड ऑन एंड ऑब्वियसली इट शुड हैव एन एंड कोड ऑन और स्टॉप कोड ऑन फॉर अ प्रॉपर सिंथेसिस ऑफ प्रोटीन्स right so for that reason it is uh, so a stretch of nucleotide sequences whatever it is having but having a start codon and a stop codon will be termed as an complete ora for open reading frame and this open reading frames when uh, translated they translated into proteins right so that's how uh, that's how we get proteins from nucleic acids so for that reason for many purposes you need to know the ora that are present in your sequence you are dealing with so how to find that ora we can easily find that using ncbi again the largest resource of all so let's 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 write ncbi orf finder so here we go ncbi orf finder and just click on the first link that appears and it will redirect us to directly to the orf finder in ncbi i always prefer to just directly write it in the google and google will search it for you just click the first link and you are there otherwise you can uh, directly go to ncbi uh, official site then you can search there to get the ora finder it will be some troublesome part right now here we go here we can put the fasta format sequence or you can put some accession number because that, you know uh, it's always good idea to put accession number if you are having accession number it 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 just cuts down lots of time right so let's put the accession number that i have this is the accession number i have this is the accession number that i have working on throughout the video series you you can see so i just put the accession number here and you just click this orf find it will redirect us to orf finder now among this accession number you can select from where to where you are actually looking for the orf right for example this is uh, as i know because i am working with this sequence for a long uh, quite a long time i know it's pretty large sequence it's a eukaryotic uh, dna so it's a large eukaryotic mrna is a large sequence so obviously uh, it's having kind of 2000 and over 2000 base pairs so i can just put it here that uh, we need to check uh, the ora from 400 to 2000 only this we can put this thing uh, as you know uh, if you need to find if you don't need to find don't put anything just leave them blank it will work fine now if you look at here in the genetic codes you can look for standard or you can varying code because remember ora will be based on the codon the start codon and the stop codon now if you are looking at if this is this is the accession number of a dna and if uh, rna or, and if this is a human so in that case the codon will be the start codon will be uh, you know the typical start codons that are present a a u a a u g and all those start codon and end codons will be t a a t a u and uh, those codons will be the stop codon so so standard means it is uh, fixed to the vertebrate uh, standard codon now mitochondrial codon will be differing from the vertebrate as well as for each so these are the different variety of codons that are available though it's universal but still you can see certain number of variations are also there we don't bother about that we don't require that we want to fix it standard so select it as you want then click orf find and then it will bring us to the orf finder and here we go these are the orf remember we haven't select the whole stretch we select only 400 to 2000 base pair and in that range we find this number of orf and the orf and the frame numbers as we can see the frames if we if we if we get the frame as plus 1 then we can find the orf length that is 1572 if the frame is minus 3 so that that frame means the number of nucleotides that we begin with if we begin one uh, nucleotide each time in this case if we just release one and check for it we can get this release c we can get that so it depends upon the number of frames that we use in all these cases so you can see uh, here is a gen bank only which is drawing this results you can click redraw to draw it again and here here we are having redrawing with with different uh, values and in this case if we click this six frames it will redirect us to actually uh, what are the different frames that we are uh, we have worked uh, so far and here we go for the six frame we don't require we just click on what if find to go here so here it is the what ifs different what ifs made it with different color shaded with different color as you can see 
uh, and certain stretch is uh, not having any warf rest of them are having the warf so it's kind of very easy always to work with ncbi tools just put the sequence there either in fasta format or the accession number or gi and you will get the result as an output so that's how you can get the results and answers and i hope that's helpful guys thank you